Hello. All right, Maria. Thank you so much for teaching us. Let's see. Lamping nach lamping gachos. Ja ping gachos. Lamping gachos. Oh. Ja, like ja. Yeah, yeah. Ja. Yeah, not, ja. not an L. Yes, it's a J. A it's like a J. Ja ping gachos. Okay. And basically, I mean, from what I understand, it's it's a like a thick potato uh yeah. tortilla or torta. Yeah. Right. Okay, now yeah. I know you started doing some of the potatoes ahead of time. I haven't started anything. Well, that's not true. I do my usual, which is try to set everything out in a really beautiful manner here to try to make it so that we can um, be prepared. Mm -hmm. And, but you had said ideally the proper thing to do this is how to do the potatoes. Boil, so, peel them. I'm gonna show you. All right. So I had the luck today of going to the farmer's market and getting these really nice red potatoes, but it took me about 10 minutes to like um, wash off the dirt. <laughs> they oh, had a lot of, look, it was just this freshly is the potato potatoes. rice, okay? Okay. Potatoes. Yeah. Meet my friends. Friends meet my potato. Okay. Yeah. So we peel okay. it. We wash them. We wash them. We wash. I'm gonna wash it. So we, I wash it. I just kind of clean it. You know, like a little bit, and then I peel it. Then here, I just peel the potato. Wow! Look at this with a knife. She's peeling this potato without a potato peeler. Oh, with oh, a knife. Sorry. I know how to use knives. <laughs> I'm a ninja. No, I'm joking. I got, I, about, I got about three different kinds of potato peelers. <laughs> and I have like a 10 different kinds of knives. <laughs> <laughs> I think my best investment ever was one of these potato peelers that you can just pull. Yeah, that's the kind I have too. But the yeah. thing is, is it actually took... Cause I'm so used to doing what she's doing with a small knife. Like yeah. I grew up basically cutting things, not on a cutting board. We didn't have enough counter space, so but cutting it, it right in into hand. the pan. Yeah. So we would cut it right into the pan. So have you, you know, ever seen Europeans cutting a loaf of bread? They like stick it under their arm rather than putting <laughs> it on a cutting board. They kind of put it under their arm while they're cutting it. What was that movie, <laughs> Goodfellas, where they cut up all the garlic with the razor blade? That's true. <laughs> when I was a kid and I grew up in the restaurant business, we used to boil the potatoes with the skins on okay, and then let them cool. And then you could just scrape the skins off. They would just come off. You'd use a, a regular. You just, uh, all you do uh, is you just grab when it's cool, you just grab it and the whole skin exactly. just comes off like that. Yeah, that's what oh, we used to do. Yeah. But that only works to... with really fresh potatoes. A lot of the potatoes we have nowadays are so yeah, old. Well, in those days we had fresh potatoes. Yeah. Yes, um, that's the thing. Now, so, Maria, what I'm doing right now is against my religion, cut, taking the skins <laughs> off potatoes. <laughs> I grew up that we never took the skin. Put them potatoes. in your vegetable bag, or so guys, we peel the potatoes, then we chop them in pieces. You see, like three big pieces for this potato. We put them in water. I have like okay. a pan with water. So I got ahead of it. I started putting them in the water already. So I have the potatoes. <laughs> I peel them, I chop them, and then I put them in here in with water and with salt. We put salt and this and we boil them. And you said so, cut it in like three pieces. Yes, the whole potato. Here's my favorite pieces. potato peeler. <laughs> nice. That looks like a good potato peeler, Fred. So oh. and then boil them. Let them boiling until uh, it boils. So then cover them with water. They have to be all covered with water. Add salt and let them boil for maybe twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. Yes. How cooked do you want them? Like this color. You see, it changed the color. So okay, you see, I'm gonna show you. The you want them really mushy cooked. or still retaining their texture? This is the potato that is not cooked, and this is the one that is cooked. It okay. changed the colors. 
But do you want them to be able to be like Maria? Do you want them to be like mashed potatoes or no, still not too mushy? A little less than mashed potatoes. Okay. We don't so want them pretty, too soft. pretty soft. Yes, soft but not too soft. You definitely want them. Yes, definitely you don't want them falling apart. You want them to mm -hmm. stay solid. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Like this. Like look, they are solid. They are boiled already. They are solid. All right. So now that we are gonna leave the potatoes boiled, we're gonna chop the vegetables. Okay, the lettuce. We take the lettuce. We take the pieces of the lettuce. Can I ask you some questions while I'm trying to stretch out me cutting these potatoes first? Yes. Um, yes. Why did you choose this recipe? Because it's easy to make and it doesn't have rice because all that kind of the Latin recipes have rice on it. And I don't want to use rice all the time. <laughs> well, I used to have a slow international slow food dinner called Rice and Spice. So we, oh. we almost had to have rice all the time, but um, yeah. It, yeah, the majority of the world does eat rice regularly. Yeah. But even for breakfast, you said this is primarily a breakfast meal or it's any kind? No, it's a tortilla. Have... It's, an, um, uh, it's like a Spanish tortilla. But no, it's different. It's like a party, like, you know, put the beef party or a chicken party. This is a kind of a party, but it's like potato. Okay. And so what, what stuff do we have in it? Let's go down the ingredient list here to make sure. Okay. The one thing that I had a hard time getting was um, anchote. Anchote? Let's see, how do you pronounce that in English? Um, anato? I don't it's know like, in English, but I say, I call it anchote. Here they sell this, look, this one's already. Yeah, I had a hard time. I went to Chiote. three places to find that. So mine but, is a solid. It's not a liquid. Yeah, mine That's is good. mine is seeds. That's good. Yeah. You can mix it with a little bit of olive oil. That you put in a little bit of olive oil and that, and that converts it into this. So how much are we? Okay. So I'm only using one large potato because it's just me. Okay. And the food is just so much on these on the um, cooking. Oh chunks. yeah, I'm used to cooking for a whole family, so yeah. Yeah, and I eat half as much as the next person, so. So Lulu, uh, I'm trying to make a small amount. I'm used to making a lot. Yeah, it's really. Yeah. So, and I couldn't. I got hot the hot sausage they had they said they carried mild but they were sold out so well the sausage is just on the side right maria yeah no that the, the, the sausage is a kind of the main main meat in the plate so it's like you're having like eggs sausage and then this the potato the potato I like these kind of meals where there's things that are cool and the salad is hot. And then you got things that are hot and other things are warm. That's nice texture and taste and flavor sensation. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I did. I did. I forgot to buy it today, but I already had it was the beets. So what are we supposed to cook the beets? Um, I don't think so, Maria. I think the beets is the salad, right? Yeah, the beet is part of the salad. The beet, the lettuce, and avocado. But is the beet cooked and cooled, or is it raw? Uh, cooked. Oh, shoot, I didn't cook my beets. Okay, do you have a... Okay, well, you can start to cook it now. Boil no. it. Pour it in water and boil them, please. Can I put it with the potatoes? Would that mess it all up? No, that would mess it up. Like just the, the actually, if you have these these uh, pots that are like uh, boiling if raw, faster, I would recommend you to do that because the, the beets, when it's uh, raw, take a long to boil. Because, well, I mean, if we're putting this anchote in there, isn't the potato gonna be like red anyway? 
No. The potato the the potato gonna be red because we're gonna fry it with the we're gonna fry first the sausage and the sausage is gonna leave a kind of a reddish uh, thing in the in the in the pot. So with that, with that a kind of reddish, we're gonna fry the potatoes. So that's why the potatoes turn a kind of a red, because like of the fry the fry thing that was in the pot already. Well, I was because just wondering if, if, I, if I boiled the beets in with the potatoes, if it would ruin it. No, I recommend to boil it separately. Okay. Should we cut up the beets like the potatoes to boil them faster? Uh, you, if you what? Do we need to cut the beets up like the potatoes to boil it? And no, I, I would rather prefer if you boil them, you, you wash them with, wash them and then cook them the, the, the upper part and the, the down part and boil them like that. And then when you, when it's very boiled, you play the, you peel it easily. Like the potato that our one showing us, you peel it that way because it, okay. it, the skin, the potato skin gets easily. Oh, I've okay. been eating a lot of uh, Caribbean um, potato salad and they, they do that with beets. So I'll boil like, six potatoes, a couple eggs, and two beets all at the same time, let them cool down, and that's my Caribbean potato salad. Uh -huh. All right, so my potatoes are boiling, now we start making the salad. Okay, now guys, like you're been boiling the potatoes, right? Now you're gonna prepare your beets, like gonna boil the beets, please, and you're gonna prepare your lettuce, and the avocado. But the avocado, we're gonna leave it until the end because if you cook them, it get a little bit darker. So we're gonna cook the, the lettuce. So I'm gonna show you guys, like I have the lettuce here, right? Here, you just take out the, the bottom and they start to peel them, like, and then I have this, the whole lettuce. Then I put the lettuce here. Can you? Are you making like the lettuce like tortillas? No, I'm going to make the lettuce like in a long way. So look at how I peel it. Here is the, all the leaf of the lettuce, right? So you just strain it there and then you just do it long ways. Long, 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 long. It's an easier way if you want to do the whole lettuce, I'm going to show you. Here is long, right? Here is long, and then you just put it go with me here to the bowl. Okay. Now, if you want to do the whole lettuce, look this lettuce, right? You put it in the middle, the half. You see? You just place it uh, like down, like the this part, like down, and you just like cut it this way. Can you throw this one? So you just cut it this way. This way it go, you see? Are you guys looking at it? Yeah, so you're making look, long it could already slices. In long. <laughs> yes. And look, you put it in, the, in here. And Do you then use you any lettuce, other vegetables? Ready? I mean, ha have you used other greens or is it all? Lettuce, that? for this plate is lettuce, beets. I already uh, boiled and chopped my beets. I'm gonna cut it in more squares than the smaller one. And I have the avocado. For this plate, it's like lettuce, beet, and avocado. I almost See? never use lettuce, so I actually didn't know where to buy lettuce. <laughs> lettuce, beet, and avocado for this plate. So did you guys understand how to cook the lettuce? Are you just cutting long, thin slices? Yes. So it's like long strands. Not, you're not chopping it up, but you're making long strands. Mm -hmm. All right. I might need a bigger bowl than that. <laughs> but, let's see. It was okay with that, as I mean. It's like a, I guess that's why people eat a lot of lettuce because it looks like a lot of food. <laughs> when 
one lettuce head. We always called lettuce crunchy water. Crunchy water, yeah. How did you cut the beets? Very just okay. fine. The beets, you boil them, right? They are round. Yep. Then you peel them. Like, as soon as you like boil them very uh, a long time, you just start to take out the peeling. It goes uh, 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 really easy. And then you cut them in slices, slices like this, long. Oh. Slices. Okay, it's slices. Slices. It's slices. Not chopped. And then I dice them, like I cut them, I cut them like this, and I was leaving for to good with you. I gonna dice them. I gonna put them in squares, so little, very small. Well, now my hands are all bloody. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but it's actually the beet is really good for your blood, so I really recommend to eat beet uh, frequently. So you never do beets raw for this, just fresh um, beets? No, I if the Ecuadorian does all like. They boiled it. You can do it raw, but it's like typical in Ecuador, we boiled it. So I want to show you which sausage I bought and the, the cheese that I bought is mozzarella. I bought this mozzarella cheese. Okay. Okay. Does it, and Does it matter what kind of cheese? I mean, you're just making like, you know, potato it omelet, right? It doesn't matter. We want to mix the cheese and the onions with the potato. So I just got you, uh, showing you which one I use. Then the sausage, I bought this sausage. It's, it's a Colombian one. Yeah, I found oh, one second, in. yeah. Let me get my- Yes. Get my sausage out. And look, it comes five of them. I just took two because I'm gonna make two. And I'm putting everything in the back, then I can like focus in the food that I have here. I always cook everything. So I that know. was I, I have lucky I have a, a local farmer, so I got oh. some good fresh pork chorizo. Yeah. Nice. Um uh, here's mine. I it, it's a hot longaniza, longaniza. Oh, that's a, that looks good. That's it, the yeah, fancy that stuff. Good. It's Filipino and um, it's spicy, so I'm a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Tomorrow you will feel it. <laughs> All right, I'm still cutting up my beets here. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing the color of that. Yeah. Just like, look at that. I used to never like beets because I always got it from the can. And I think I probably ate more beets this year than I did my whole life. Once I got some of this fresh beets, oh my goodness. Okay, now are you guys ready to see how to cook the onion? You remember we're gonna need the onion? This? Green, green onions. Yes, green All onions. Right. So I'm gonna teach, teach you how to cook. So I just started to do it, but I'm gonna, I leave some to teach you like these little pieces. So we're just mincing them, making them really small then. Yes. Okay. We cook now, them in the how, long how many of them? Just a couple. I did or? one. The whole. I did the. I got. I did the, the whole thing. This, just one. Okay. With the leaves too. With this green part. Oh. The whole thing. Yes. This is. So for, you just put them this is for frying, way. right? Excuse me. This is for frying with the potatoes. Yeah, we, we're going to mix them straight with the potatoes. We're not going to even fry them. We're going to use the roll with the potatoes and the cheese, and then okay. we're going to fry the potatoes. So I'm cutting them. You know, I put them in like long ways. Now, we are, in our recipe, we also had 
um, regular onions and purple onions, didn't we? In this recipe? So I just forgot to get the green onions and the lettuce. Oh. What kind of green? Do you have any other greens? No, I thought I, my lettuce had, had gone bad. Um, can I use red onions instead of the green onions in the potato? Or? I would not recommend that. It doesn't taste the same. No. Red has a strong flavor. This is the one that we're supposed to use. Okay. But you, don't use it. Don't use onions. Just use that. Maybe if you right. have powder onion. Or could you use oh. like a white or a yellow onion? They have similar flavor. It still is not the same. Okay. But if you want to use it, it's your option. It's almost too much moisture too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they have a lot more water to them than the other onions and may change the potato. Yes. yes. Yeah, just don't use it. Maybe use powder, onion powder, or and, and use the cheese. The cheddar cheese. So I, I cut this piece of cheese and then I gonna shatter it and then mix it with the potatoes when I smash them. Okay. So now I'm cutting them. Look the onions. I cut them in like four pieces, the whole, the long one, and then I chop them. I chop, I chop the, the this. I cut it, cut it, cut it, and look, it's a little piece. Can little you see? Pieces. It? Yeah, little pieces. So that's the green onions. Yeah. Yes. So here I ch chopped all these yes. up. Maybe even finer. Yeah, you bit. might want to do that a little finer. Yeah, because she she split them four ways and then chopped them. Yes. Oh. So I just like yeah, I just cut them across. So she she quite let split the long yeah, onion. She split them twice. Okay. Yeah, it's because I don't like too much. <laughs> I feel the taste of it. I don't like it, but anybody. Oh, okay, that makes sense. That's why you're doing green onions. Green onions are the weakest onion there is. Yeah, but actually, it's which one I we use for the potatoes in Ecuador? No. We use these ones. There is another plate called ceviche de camarón, like cream cocktail that we do with the red onions. Maybe another time I can teach you how to do ceviche de camarón. Ooh, ceviche is wonderful. Yeah, I'm waiting for somebody to do a ceviche on this show. I had a I had a lady who said she was going to do it, but she likes baking more. So we signed up. She was like, oh. I can make ceviche or I could bake. And she's like, I want to bake. So she, we signed her. She's coming on August 28th. Oh, nice. Next week is chocolate. Yeah. So, all right. Okay. So, are you guys ready now? Shatter the cheese. Yep, did, did you guys already boil the potatoes? Are your potatoes boiled? Good enough? No. I don't think so. Um, what else do I need to put in the salad? Like lettuce, beets, and avocado, but the avocado, we're gonna leave it to the end. Did you guys oh, already okay. cook your, the beet? But you have to leave the beet. Do you guys have the beets already? Yeah, I, but I put it in, I cut it smaller. Okay, yeah, look, that looks good. It's pretty. I am still boiling, so you just go ahead and I'll catch up. Okay. And now all we're right. going to, now that we have all the salad settled, we need the potatoes. The potatoes are already boiled for you guys. Do you guys already have the potatoes boiled? They are boiling, but they're not ready. Um, okay, we can we wait for them then. Could but we, we can fry the sausage? Them. Yeah, okay, let's do that, the sausage. Now, we have the sausage here, look. We're just gonna cook them in pieces, like this, 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 okay? I'm gonna chop them and I'm gonna show like, you how like I Like four pieces? Yes, depending on the sausage, in this I will take like maybe five. Yeah, See, I, I could think. fit one, I could fit all of them in my little frying pan. Oh, nice. Look, I chop them in five pieces. You see? Okay. So I'm going to do the other one. Let's chop them. So look, this, 
I just like cut them. All right. And then I put a little bit of olive oil and the a little bit of the achote, okay, to fry them. I let it to warm up to make it warm, and then I place the the sausage into the into the pan. So, how much achote do you think? So you're just trying to flavor the oil. Yes, it's the olive oil, and then I just wanna put the I'm gonna show you. Now mine, what kind is your achote uh an oil or uh, so yours is an oil. Yes, it already have oil, olive oil on it. Mine is the seeds. So I think do you think my seeds I need to grind up first? You can okay. no, you just can put the olive oil and place them and kind of fry the seeds. Kind of fry the seeds. I just gonna I just I tasted it. I tasted it. It doesn't really have a flavor. Yeah, it doesn't, but when it fry you fry it, got, it get a flavor in there, in the things that you fry. So you just can put like oil if you don't have this. I just place it, it straight and I'm gonna turn it on my heat and a low 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 heat. And then if you don't have this, you just put olive oil and the the powder or the seed. So, seed. The only one I could get was, yeah, the, the seeds. Oh, look at that. I put the seeds in there and the oil is immediately red. So it, yes. it is. Yes, so. it does it. So you just put it there. Look, I'm gonna start to warm it up. So why do you, why do you here. put this in if it doesn't really have a flavor? It has a flavor. You maybe you don't taste it, but when you taste the food, you will see the difference. I mean, the food the will look red. No, it will look red and it will taste different. When I just fries, ate one of the seeds and it didn't seem to really have any flavor. But maybe when it's fried, it has different flavors. Now, sometimes when you cook it, the flavor changes. Because I mean, look at how the ch oil changed in like two minutes. Yeah. So it's yeah. definitely extract. It's like in India. It's like in Indian cooking. They always uh, fry the spices to bring out the flavor. In them. Okay. The yeah. potatoes are almost all done. All right. So, in medium heat, frying this. Yeah, I'm cooking for my my whole family or me. Uh -huh. Okay, you see, it started. You listen, it started so kind of fry. You see, and then you leave it warm a little bit more, heat a little bit more, and then you place the sausages there to fry it. So you have to have the lettuce, the beets, the avocado, and when you have the potatoes, you let me know, and then we do together the mashed potatoes. And try to shatter the cheese. What I'm gonna do while I put the sausages there, I'm gonna shatter the cheese, okay? And I'm gonna leave this here because there is too dangerous for my phone. Uh, All right, I'm gonna take, take these potatoes, the ones that are ready out. I don't think they're all ready, but most of them are. All right. I'm gonna close it. Close the pan. And in low, in low, um, low heat for the sausage. Yes, please make a low heat. And then you turn it, turn, try to turn, turn it. Okay. When you are doing, when you are frying the sausage, try to turn them to the other side. Always try to turn them to the other side, to the other side. I got the most important tool for doing that. 
All right. Okay, so we're gonna cover them because it's in low heat. And I have to clean this mess after because I, I uh, it's frying, I don't. Okay, so now I'm gonna shatter the cheese. So until now we have to have boiling the potatoes. Run is already boiled. When you already have yours, let me know and we start to do that. We have to have the onion chops, onion. We have to have the, the lettuce, the beet, and the avocado, we do it at the end. And okay. we're gonna shatter the cheese. I'm gonna shatter the cheese, okay? So, and then let me know, guys, when you have the potatoes ready, and then we can start to do the potatoes. The potatoes, my potatoes are ready. Do I have to mash them? Yes, mash them. What about the other guys? Are you guys ready? No, they're not ready yet. No, so normally you'd let them cool down before you mash with them. If, no, the best the best moment is when they are hot. So mash it when they're hot. Yes. Except I can't find my potato masher. So and no, just dry. Drain all the water off. Yes, as soon yeah. as they are boiled, drain all the water. Well, this because is cool. I mean, they... this is not like mashed potatoes. Where no, this like is this. just crushing them. It's like. I think you want pieces of potato in there. Yeah, Cause I mean, it's pretty, it, it mashes pretty good, but it's still kind of chunky. Yes. You mash them and then you mix it with the, with, with the onions and the cheese. While it's still hot, you mix the cheese in so it melts, huh? Yes, that would be perfect. I made extra potatoes and beets. I'm going to make a potato salad. And be careful with your sausage. Try to do your sausage. Try to make. Oh, yeah. Let's flip it. Turn it on. Uh, turn it. Uh, I think I cut it too small of pieces because mine are falling apart. On the Facebook page, it said to, that you could slice some red onions for this salad. Do you just usually not put them because you don't like the red onions or are, are we not supposed to put red onions? Are we not supposed to, did I put red onions in the recipe? Uh -huh. For the salad, yeah. Oh, no sorry. Red onion. I made, I, no, it's the green one. I made, I, I did, red onions I did it when I was at work. Okay. But I didn't add it, that was her recipe. So you mash the potatoes? Are you guys mashing the potatoes? Yep, and adding the cheese. Yeah, add the cheese. If you don't have the red, the green, the green, the onion, like put just like the cheese, please. I totally messed up these sausages. Look at this. I cut them too small, and they're just falling apart. Oh. But it'll it'll still taste good, but. It's not holding the texture. Yeah, it doesn't hold the texture, it's fine. It's still All right, so in my potatoes, I've got my green onions. Oh, okay. we also have parsley. Parsley, yeah, I have parsley. And um, how much cheese to potato? I'm doing 50-50, I don't know about you. No, it, no, no a lot of cheese, like, if I did like nine potatoes, and I'm gonna do this amount of cheese. All right. And the onions, not too much cheese or, or potatoes. I and put in the recipe, I think that how much or not. How much, where does the parsley go? The parsley, mix, it makes it here too. Like you chop them, I forgot to buy parsley. I have a belief, I think. And that here you mix it with parsley too. The potato, you put the parsley. Yes, you put the onions, the cheese, and the parsley. All right. Yes, I found my parsley. I bought dry a dry one the other day. Thank you, Lulu, for reminding me. Oh, or brought it up. But yeah, I've got this really nice batch of parsley I got from the farmer's market. I don't want to let go to waste. 
That's perfect. I read somewhere, like I always put this in a jar on the counter, but recently I read somewhere you put it in a jar in the fridge. Yeah. And I've done that recently and it stays good for like a lot longer. So what I do is I wash it all up and then I put it in paper towels like this and just a little bit of water and then it'll stay for months and I just pull off whatever I need. Wait, say that again. It'll stay for months? I've had parsley stay for two months. I'd, I'd open it up every other day or so, pull some off, trim the bottom again, but you don't put, you only put the very ends in the water. Yep. Cilantro doesn't you keep it in the fridge or outside? I keep it in the fridge. The paper towels go around it and just the ends go in the water and then you put a plastic bag and secure it on the bottom. It's like hydroponics. It, keeps it for so long. You can bring carrots back to life. You can bring celery back to life. Broccoli. I, I, anything that you want to keep fresh, just trim the bottom and just put the ends in the water. It's I like that idea because I always buy this big bunch for one recipe and I've been cutting it up and putting it in salad, but it's like so strong. I don't need very much of it and it'll go bad quickly. Well, the yeah. secret is don't put any of the leaves in the water, just the very bottom stems, wrap the whole thing in paper towels, make sure the paper towels don't get in the water. And so like, I'm gonna put this back. Well, well, I've seen it where they put a wet paper towel around the bottom. Well, the paper towel gets, oh, this is not on the bottom. There's nothing on the stems. The stems are directly in the water. And then I- Okay, so this, the stems are in the water in the fridge. Yeah, so you just have like a, a maybe not even an inch of water. And then okay. I put it like this, tie it off, and put it in the fridge. So the paper towel is a little damp from the wetness of the parsley, but it stays good for a very long time. That's a good idea. Just look, guys, I just put it look at them, the sausage. Oh, I got to look at the sausage. I'm gonna pour them here and I'm gonna turn this off because we need this oil for the for the potatoes. Let's see, what can I put this sausage in? Yeah, lots of oil. The parsley, if you the, something good to do with the parsley too, maybe you can dry them. Dry the parsley and put it in a in a glass glass container that then you can use them eventually. I gonna use the dry one. I bought it. I don't dry them, but I bought it and it's dry. Get the leaves, you know. Yeah, I just I put all my herbs in a rack above my stove in a paper bag. And <laughs> anything I buy fresh. Mm -hmm. And then it just dries. So I like that's a good idea too. Show you. This right here is a whole bag of thyme and basil and parsley and oregano and stuff I either picked from my garden or bought. And then I just have a rack above my stove here and it just stays dry up there. All right. So I've turned this oil down almost to nothing. So guys, I already have the sausage, the fried sausage. And I have, look, I have here some more oil and some more oil came out from the sausage. So that oil, we're gonna use it to fry the potatoes, okay? So now we're going to, we have the mashed potatoes. We're gonna mix it with the parsley. We're gonna put some parsley. And we're gonna put some cheese, the cheese. And we're gonna put the onions and mix them. Where are my onions here? Did you saw it? The onions. Look, onions, parsley, and cheese and potatoes. We mix them. We 
mix them, we mix them. I'm switching pans because my when you guys when you guys cook the, the potatoes, you put salt on it, right? Oh shit, I forgot. So so I don't you... usually put salt. I I tend to not cook with salt very much. But... Now you can just add salt. Add salt here before to fry it. No. All right. I'm gonna try to do it. Kind of a dough, a dough, you know, like a dough. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna wash your hands. Take a kind of a this amount. Do it like a bowl, like a little bowl. You see a bowl and then just smash it. And this is the potato party. Potato pancake. Yes, this is like a, a kind of a potato pancake. Does it matter? I guess my hands are bigger, so I'll have bigger balls, but I guess it doesn't matter really what size. But I guess if you were in a restaurant, you'd get one an ice cream scoop, so the balls are all the same size. Yes, that would be that's a good idea. Look, the ball, and then you just like place them. So you just do a little bit like ball, ball and then you see like round, 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 round. And oh, and then around the edge? Yes, you can round the how, edge. And about how like, big your round is one of yours? I don't know, like, look at this. Okay. I round it and then I Yours is much more side. round than mine, but. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. We all have a different way, but it's the same product, so it's going to be fine. Then you just like. Do now, do it. you ever just, instead of doing a lot of little ones, do you ever do just one big one? You can, but I don't know, like, it's, a, it's not the same presentation, you know? <laughs> All right. How's everybody keeping up? I feel like I'm almost keeping up. How is everybody doing? Good? You guys already have your party? Potato party? Potato pancake? Can I start frying them? Yeah. Yes, you can. Yes, go ahead. What temperature do you think? Very hot or? Low, low. All right. I guess technically they're they're already cooked. Yes, and we want them to be a kind of crispy, you know, so they, we're going to be low and then let it crispy in the top and in the other side. And then if you have leftovers of that, of this, you know, like I was just gonna make those. This, I'm gonna use it tomorrow. You can make it in the morning. You can like make a little bit with a scramble, a scramble, so put some eggs and do a tortilla, you know, a omelet, potato how thick, omelet. How thick are you making them? Very thin or pretty thick? A little thick, because okay. we need them to be very, very consistent, very consistent yeah, in order thick, when we yeah. fry it. Yes, they can be like the uh, fleet, they can break if you don't. You're going to fry them and then turn them meat. over? Yes, fry them and then when it is like crispy and nice into that side, I just turn them to the other side. Uh, I could eat this right now, forget frying it. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Are you guys doing good? Any question? Do you ever put the chorizo right into it? Mm. How, what do you mean? Into the potato. No, I never did it, but that's a new Do some that's ground bad. instead of that's you know a ground meat. Yeah, it doesn't so bad, so maybe you know we can do it. And don't forget to put salt. The salt on the potato. 
Oh, wait, I still, I, the recipe, I guess it's for the salad, right? Tomatoes and lime. Yeah. For the lettuce, we're gonna use the, the, the we go for the lettuce, we're gonna use the lemon. So we're gonna put in water and we're gonna put water and lemon and a little bit of um, the, of the parsley. So this, the lettuce, we put in water. We put in water, we put the lemon and a little bit of parsley. That give a little bit of different flavor to the lettuce. Oh yeah. So how often do you think back home you would have this for breakfast? Or is it just it's special for time? For lunch and maybe like once every, uh, once every 15 days because we have different plates. So one every 15 days, I think, I would say. All right. So in this potato, we've got the potato, which is not very mushy. It's kind of a little chunky with green onions, cheese, and parsley. Now I leave the potato there and the potato is frying. So I just leave it there. I need to practice making them nice and round like you were doing, I don't know. Just like take, look, take with your hand, you see? You may like this your hand. You take okay. a piece, like the whole potato, you make, make like this, you take it in your hand, and then you do round first. Like you see, make. you make it like a bowl. You, you yep. close it all together, then the potato get all together, then you do a bowl, like a round thing. When it's round, when it's like very compact and round, then you smash it. And then you do the side, the, 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 the borders. Yeah, so that's the part I'm not... So you're just going around the edge, yeah. Yes. Then you just like take it like this and then turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. Then it's the potato. Funny. Or pancake, potato pancake. Then you just fry it. All right. Let's see. We still have to cut up tomatoes and yeah, lime the tomatoes for the salad. And the, the tomatoes and the avocados for the end. Did you guys buy the avocado? Yep. Okay, so the tomatoes and the avocados for the end. Did you put the water, the lettuce with water, lemon, and parsley? Try to no. put that too, please. The, okay, the, so say that again for the, the lettuce. For the lettuce, you put the, the lemon, right? You put the lettuce, you put water, water on, and water here. Then you put, you squish the lemon and you put some parsley on it. Okay. And let it sit because it gives a little bit different flavor to the salad. Okay. So are we putting that all in, soaking it like in a dressing in a separate bowl or all in the salad? All in the, all in the lettuce, just the lettuce. But you mix okay. it already with the, with the beet. So leave, uh, put it with the beet. Put water. Don't even make it separate. Just put it directly it into be. the salad. Put it, put it in water there. Then put lemon and parsley. All right. Now, Maria, you're saying lemon, but you're using the little green limes. Oh, yes, yeah, so. it's the lime. Sorry, that's my bad English, it, the lime, the green it, one. It's always funny. It's exactly opposite. Yeah. A lemon is a lime, and a lime, lima is a lemon, right? Yeah. So green, a green lemon. <laughs> All right. So I put... On top of the lettuce, I'm putting a whole lime and some chopped up parsley. 
and you see guys when i when i'm frying them look how they look you see the kind of brownish oh, oh yeah wrapped it the potato so look it looks a kind of brown yeah can you see it yeah so we want that kind of color when we turn it so, so mine's sticking really badly and kind of I've never had luck frying mashed potatoes. I know a lot of people who. Yep. Mine That's never... true. This one is sticking. The last one didn't. I think this pan didn't stick because I think I was running at a lot hotter temperature. But this one is sticking. I mean, my first one I did over here on this one came out really nice. But yeah, that's perfect. That's this perfect. one, they're all sticking. Like it's not. Not hot enough temperature or something. I don't know. Now, while they are frying, let's put the tomatoes. Let's dice the tomatoes, please. Separately, and let's put the avocado. So the, the avocado, we're going to cut it this way. So the half and the other half. So we're going to make four pieces. Then we just take one out. So you're quartering it long ways. Yes, in long ways. All the right. half and the other half. And the tomato, just dice them, put them, and dice them. And putting that all in the salad, yeah? Yeah, the tomato and the avocado, they separate both, please. Don't mix okay. it with the, with the beets and the, and the lettuce at the same time. Just the beans and the lettuce can go in lemon with lime. Lemon or lime? The green one. <laughs> Just uh, lime. 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 Okay, the lime, the lime can go in the lettuce and the beets and with uh, parsley and lemon and lime. Oh, I'm gonna turn my potatoes. They look good and yummy. I don't know, how, how do other people do uh, limes? I always just got a spoon and just put it in there. And, and then if it's got a seed, I just put it in and try to catch the seed in my hand like this. I find that, see how good that is? That's how I always did it. Now I'm gonna... Maria, were you just... We're just taking these quarter avocados out of the skin, right? We have, yeah, we have to do the quarter. Now, do you put a little lime over the avocado to keep them from? No, just to the, uh, so the um, lettuce and the beets, you put it in water, you soak it in water, and then you put a lime and parsley. And you leave it soaking lime and parsley. That gives it a little, a little different flavor to me. All right. Yeah, it seems like in the U.S. the salads we almost always put the the dressing on the side, but then yeah. if you put like lime right on top of the greens, it'll stay fresh. Yes. Yeah. All right. I turned up the heat on my fry pan to see if it'll fry better because before it was just sticking. I might have put too much cheese. <laughs> That's why they are melting. Now I put too much cheese. That's a big part of the problem. <laughs> I think that's Look how they how they turn, guys. You see, they are like brownish. I love that they are like that because they are very tasty.
How do you keep from not eating them all while you're cooking? <laughs> because I save everything for the end and then I can enjoy everything. Very smart. So look at them. My secret is, is I always eat something before I start cooking. <laughs> so look guys, here is the sausage, the potatoes, the salad that I, I gonna soak it right now in water, lemon and parsley. My cooked avocado and the, I forgot to buy the tomato, but cook the tomato in pieces. Cook the tomato in pieces and we have all, we're gonna have it all together. So the tomato doesn't go in the salad, it's just cut up in pieces. Yes, we cook it in pieces and we put it, we put the lettuce, we put the lettuce with the beets and then we still have to fry the eggs. So I just want to see if everybody's going, how it's going, everything is going well. You guys already have the potatoes fried, fried potatoes. And my potatoes are, I think they're finally starting to crisp up underneath there. Let's see. All right, really sticking. So here I have the tomato. I just gonna cut a piece. And yeah, mine is not good. Couldn't like dices, you know, like could it probably, be? It's probably the cheese. The cheese, the, cheese. With, the cheese you mix it with the potatoes. But it yeah, may but... have make it, it may be the cheese making it stick. I think I just put it in before the pan was hot enough. Oh. Yeah, you have, they, have, they all have to be hot in order to fry them, to fry the sausage and to fry the potato and to fry the egg. At the end, we're going to fry an egg. Remember that. All right, I'm going to switch pans. So this pan is I have shot. my tomatoes here. Yep, all that is really stuck to there. Maybe you can wait until the end to, to have all the plates together. We can eat together. I'm here with my friend Jen. He's from from Florida. But she's living in in New York. I got a quick break here. I could see who's on here. We have I know. Yeah, we've got a couple countries. Three countries. All right. So. Yeah, Lulu, I completely messed up that first one. Look how bad that is. It just all stuck. Yeah. Do you do you all guys have already? What did you say? Oh my my. First fry pan, all the potatoes just stuck to the. I actually, my first two I made were just fine in the little pan because I let it get hot enough. I think the secret is get the pan really hot. Yeah, it has to be hot. Then it doesn't steam. I'm gonna try it on this little one. Okay, so this is really. I've got it as hot as it can go. Okay. Let's see how well that does. So are we guys ready to like, I want to know if everybody has their fried potatoes. I have one made or two. I had two. I ate one. <laughs> Potato with cheese parsley and... I I think Lulu, it's definitely put too much cheese in. I'm having the same problem with this one. In the last one, it does a good picture because it's small. It's not like I like it, but it's a good picture. How are you guys doing? Good. Okay. I'm true. I've seen that one person. 
Just see, you may, need, you may need a little oil. <laughs> it's good. It's totally stuck to the pan. And you remember, you need a little oil. And then this one. I mean, look, that's got plenty of oil in it. Oh. But it just. But we need to fry the sausage first. And then after the sausage, we fry it first. Yeah, I put too much. Too much <laughs> cheese. Probably use a non stick, non -stick pan. Well, you. Yeah. I, I mean, this is a good quality pan. I'd never have problems in the when past. When I read the instructions that was sent with the recipe, they made it sound like the cheese would be in like a, in a pocket in the center of the. So not maybe not so much cheese would be touching the pan because I think got it. Yeah, mine are falling apart. I can tell you, it tastes good. I tasted it, I burned my mouth very badly, so I'm kind of <laughs> <laughs> Lulu, hot cheese. I know, right? All right, so I've got avocado and tomato cut up. Okay. The lettuce and beet salad with, oops. Put it with water. The lettuce and beet salad put with water and lemon, squish of lemon. It's got no, lemon, so am I supposed to have water covering the whole thing? Yeah. Yes. We oh. use the little soap in water. And then water. Will you end up that? What do you say, Lulu? Will you end up draining that? You you can leave like leave it there until the next day, even because that's gonna keep it fresh. Like this water, like this much water. Uh, soak like they cover them all of them with water. Okay. That'll and keep then, it cool and fresh. Yes, and the squeeze the lemon, the, the lime, the green, the green one, yeah, squeeze it. All right. So and yeah, I've got it all covered with water now. Yes, squeeze the lime, please. I put and uh, one and a half limes in that bowl. Okay, sounds good. You can squeeze it there and put parsley. Oh, look parsley at that, Lulu. And leave it there. Really hot <laughs> pan. I agree. Let me show you mine. Well, no, here's my original one. See, look at this original one at a low heat. Right. Whoa. I did the same thing and didn't mess with it. Look how brown that one is. Yeah, they look good. When it's really hot temperature, it's highest heat possible. Look at how nice it's coming. Those are sad. These are happy. So. What about you, Ann? How was yours? <laughs> I think it's going good. I'll show you there in the pan still. Maybe Can you see them. Oh, they look good. I'm excited. <laughs> All right. What about you, Depa, Maya, Nell, Fred? How are you guys cooking? I can't cook because I have another show coming up right after this. I have to prepare. Ah, cool. So you want to see us guys enjoying the food. <laughs> no, it's now. I'm just enjoying watching y'all cook. You're enjoying me messing uh, up. Yeah. Yep, I understand. Yes, or I wanted to tell you your pan should have been hotter, but I figure you um, oh, figured thanks. out your own. <laughs> I need a backseat driver apparently tonight. <laughs> you figure it out. <laughs> See, now you'll never forget. It's a uh, trial by error. Yeah. Of course, I will never forget how horrible these look. But I'm sure they taste good. But, ah, smoke detector just went off. All right. Hey, anybody who's a regular, is that the first time my smoke detectors went off since I started doing the online show? <laughs> I think so. I think so. All right. So the only thing else we have to cook, right, Maria, is eggs. Yes, fried eggs. So we've got so the I salad. Want, I want to see salad. if everybody has their, their potato. 
Everybody has a potato? Are we, yeah. are we, well, my, I still have a few more to do and they're taking a little longer. This was one yeah. plus of potatoes, but I made mine kind of small. They're cute. Wow. But my question is, are we <laughs> going to try to fry the potato, the egg in the same pan that we cook the potatoes in the sauce mm. pan? No, we need a new pan for just the egg. Fry it. Well, I I messed up my 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 pan, so I have one pan now. That's clean. <laughs> okay, so you. Can well, I only have two pan. more potatoes to do, so okay. it'll be done here in a second. All right. Clean up as we go, huh? I've never happened to this cooking show, rarely. <laughs> <laughs> so let me know, guys, when you're ready. And then we can put all together. And then enjoy the food. All right, I'm ready to enjoy. <laughs> And how do you how do you serve it? Just everything together, right? Yes, that's why I want to show you all how we serve it all together. But I want to see if everybody's ready with the potato, the sausage, the lettuce, beet, a tomato with the avocado, and uh, and the fried egg. But then we're gonna fry the egg. Let's fry the egg right now, okay? All Let's right. fry the egg, and then we have also all ready. <laughs> to tell the plate. All right, I think I'm going to give up on this one. Got one of them frying nice and one of them not. One of them just completely falling apart. Yeah, definitely next time, less cheese. Yes, that was the thing. Was a lot of cheese. All right, I'm ready to fry an egg. Okay, the egg. okay guys, when you're ready, fry the egg, please. I'm gonna, I just warm it up. And make sure that the oil, I already pulled my pan with the oil before the fry egg. Make sure it's very hot, the, the, the oil. Then the egg. Now you tell egg. me. <laughs> I thought you can, you know that. I'm sorry. I know, I know. I make this mistake all the time. I get a, oh, what do you call it? A cold pan, put the oil in it, and then immediately start frying, and it always does that. We all, but we all learn from mistakes, right? I apparently never learn from this mistake, because <laughs> I do this same mistake all the time. Hopefully, this is the last time. <laughs> mm -hmm. So let's have it ready. Good. I think I made way too much salad. But all it was was one head of, this was one head of lettuce and one beet. And then I just a little bit of uh, one lime and some chopped up parsley. Yes. Yeah. And remember to soak the, the beets and the lettuce in water with lime and parsley. 
So then what we're going to do is we're going to put the letter, we're going to take some of the letters and then beat. We're going to put the plate. We're going to start to put the plate, okay? With the potatoes. We're going to put the letters and the beets. Can you guys see it? Yeah. The potato, lettuce, the beets. Then we're going to put the sausage beside it. Like three or four of them, as you please, as you want. Then we're going to put the tomatoes some tomatoes and the avocado in the top. You see? And we're gonna fry the egg and put it in the top of the potato, okay? I'm gonna fry the egg right now because my, my oil is very burned, very burned. Hi, egg. Oh. See, this is, this is real cooking show. Yes. <laughs> Shows all the mistakes. You see, as soon as it's very hot, the egg is frying very fast. Okay. Then I'm gonna place it in the top of my, I'm gonna fry the other one because I have two friends over and I'm gonna make the food for the three of us. Look at that. I'm literally having my eggs stick to the pan. I just, today is not a day. So look guys, this is the plate. There you go, I got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the eggs. Good, Lulu, you make it great. I guess I however you like your egg is how you put it on. But it's supposed to be all on top of each other. The egg goes on top of the potatoes. Yes, the egg goes in the top of the potatoes. Can you cook that? Here we go. Oh my god, I'm making yours because you don't eat sausage, right? Jenny, you can come to eat if you want. The yeah, food is ready. So I'm calling my friends. Oh, let me turn this egg because it's getting burned. Good job. Maria, do you approve? I got an extra lime. I got an extra half a lime though, just oh, in case. Good. That's good. So. And Maria didn't think we could do this unless we cooked all the potatoes ahead of time. Ah uh, no, we don't. We don't have to cook all the potatoes. But right. it, it's gonna be it's gonna be faster if we cook it in ahead of time, you know. Yeah. All right. Uh, Does anybody have any final questions before we wrap up and sit down? And I've been nibbling as we've been going on, but right now I want to sit down and eat the whole thing. I'm, I cooked some extra potatoes and beets. I'm going to make myself some Caribbean potato salad. So. Maria, Maria, look at the camera for just one second. What? I just wanted to get a picture of this. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Did you see it? I'm ready. Are we ready? <laughs> Lulu, wa Lulu wants to show hers. L Lulu always ends up making her plate look really, really pretty. I know, nice presentation. Yes. I think she just has a better camera. Yes. I don't have to let it go. So Lulu, you're going to make this for breakfast every morning, right? You got it. I found out the knack of the uh, potatoes, so that's kind of cool. But I'm going to try it now. I've tasted everything individually except for the egg, so. All right, does anybody have any final words for Maria? Maria, thank you so much for showing us this. Thank you, Maria. 
My pleasure. I hope and you like everybody's it. so happy to see that I can't fry a Look. potato. So let me show you the final plate. Oh, oh. But it's okay, I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> Five second rule. Yes, you know, you don't have to throw food away. Is it a lot of I don't know. If it's certain things you don't pick back up, but mm -hmm. I think avocado is one you'll rinse off and try again. Yes. You guys Let's wanna see. take a picture? And can we show yours? Sure. How do there you? you I go. don't know. Lulu's <laughs> Lulu, you wanna show yours too at the same time? We'll just like everybody showing oh i guess i need to show my plate it's really good thank you there you go so any final questions for anybody otherwise i want to thank very much for getting me all riled up and what do you call it sweaty trying to keep up with this you're welcome and, and i hope i can see you again maybe i'm gonna make the the ceviche. Oh, I yep. may make the ceviche maybe eventually later. Whenever you guys tell me, I can, I can do it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah.